uncertain unpredictable kind of very haywire market we didn't go live yesterday um i in retrospect i wish i had because you know yesterday we were seeing something which was very actionable but anyway let's go straight into the business and get into analyzing what is up with markets so here's the headline right uh, so i have removed some channels because here kya fark padta hai when is it working right because it broke a channel went above so i'm just thinking now is the time if you're not uncertain about our channel system uh, it is best to play it every day by the daily price action right because there have been a lot of fake outs or maybe we drew the channel wrong maybe there is fake out but whatever is happening daily price action on a candlestick basis seems to be working way better than you know whatever we are thinking in terms of uh, long term channels and trend lines right so let's look at daily price action for today today is very clear this is a very formidable reversal pattern and i'll tell you why i think it's a reversal pattern one is this formed a kind of an evening star doji on friday then it formed a bullish and bearish engulfing today and both of this happened again two critical levels one is this horizontal resistance bar support which has been happening for some time and the 100 daily moving average of daily nifty so basically 100 dma of nifty gave a pushback as a resistance and formed a reversal pattern at the top of an uptrend and that is a reversal signal which is a bearish engulfing right so this is the headline for today nifty has formed a reversal pattern with a bearish engulfing candle <coughs> engulfing a bullish uh, or bu- engulfing a kind of an evening star candle right so this is number 1 <clears throat> now let us see what option chain data has to say about this so if you look at open interest you can see that today everybody wrote calls 51 million calls added today only 14 million puts added today which means it's a fairly bearish day and then you can see that pcr is also fairly low at 0.5 which is again a bearish signal right so these two are looking bad for nifty right now now again let's go to uh sorry now again let's go to fii data fii data is also looking fairly bearish because one the gap between red and gap, green has increased there are 2 lakh calls and 3 lakh puts and today they sold some calls but they bought 60000 quantity puts which is huge and finally 500 crore index futures 300 3000 crore uh, stocks sold which is massively negative right so now net net all together verdict is that uh, it could be a reversal but watch out for 200 dma so nifty broke 200 dma right and it was a very categorical breakout and see if this was this really broke now the thing is it's not going to be very easy for nifty to go back again to this so i'll watch this 200 dma which is around 17000 30 levels and if it goes below 200 dma i would again go negative on nifty but as long as it is about 200 dma i wouldn't want to massively bet against nifty i'll wait and watch if it goes down breaks 200 dma then there might be a selling opportunity again right but as of now there might be small dips there is a reversal signal so if you ask me the question am i going to be long here no because there is a reversal signal i don't want to be long futures or something at this level do i want to be short here my only problem with shorting here is uh, this 200 dma so this is an ideal candidate for a range play because it's not going to be so easy to break the 200 dma here so maybe it can get stuck in this level a little bit, right so now let us look at bank nifty bank nifty again today is much more bearish than nifty because it has formed a reversal pattern which is a bearish engulfing below 200 dma and it broke the 50 dma and now we have a clear bearish engulfing pattern and the only catch here is you have to watch for this level again this is around 34 400 because this is where nifty is forming a long term i mean this is very questionable because if you slightly tilt it it might give you a very different system which is why i'm saying that in the presence of all these uncertainties going on perhaps it is best that we play it on a daily candle basis so that is one right so that is one finally going to usd nr 
USD INR looks like it has formed some kind of bottom here near the 200 DMA of USD INR futures and now it has bounced back and there is a uh, there is now a bullish formation forming. So now right all of this put together net net it looks like Nifty is taking a pause with a re reversal signal near the 100 DMA but there is 200 DMA supporting it. Bank Nifty has broken 200 DMA and 50 DMA in one shot with a reversal signal with a bearish engulfing candle and there might be some downside here. USDNR seems to have hit a bottom. This is a reversal signal, the bullish inverted hammer but that is on international markets. On domestic markets it has bounced from the 200 DMA and it has gone up and formed a green candle right so right now i am not very uh, optimistic about taking any trades for the simple reason that there has been some uncertainty because beach may fi started buying now they are again gone into selling the charts are slightly uncertain except for the fact that there is this resistance and there is uh, 100 dma here but there are enough support levels here which is going to be difficult for nifty to break that easily right so i am going to play very short term now maybe i'll sell some calls for the weekly expiry hoping that the 100 dma will stick around for a while <clears throat> but for me any long term trade is now uncertain till i see some kind of a clear cut trend forming and for me the trend forming means that it has to break above the 100 dma for an up move and it has to be convincingly coming back to a downward trending channel for me to short for a down so this is my nifty read for today right surprisingly uh, we are wrapping up this uh, under the 10 minute mark but let me just see the audience comments Manish is asking, did I file for bankruptcy? Not today, not today. Saurav is saying, Bears will have beer party tomorrow. Could be. So Ramesh is saying, reversal pattern won't hold tomorrow. SGX Nifty is already showing it. So let's see what Ramesh means by that. Ah, okay. 17,240 on SGX Nifty. That has already bounced up 100 points plus. Okay, I get it. Okay. We'll see. And, and, and the thing is this, right? If, of course... Uh, so here's the thing right if this reversal pattern doesn't hold and if we are uh, going to go above this 100 DMA and above this horizontal resistance then it's a clean buy uh, so th the better is this right on Friday's analysis side said that it seems like Nifty is back in the so it had a downward trending channel it seems like Nifty has broken the downward trending channel and it is going up but and that if it continues and if it sustains about 200 DMA, Nifty can have further upside, much more higher upside. But the thing is, right now we are seeing a pause. This is a break and we have to respect the break. We can't be long here after seeing this pattern. But on invalidation of pattern, if Nifty closes above today's top, which is 17. So here's the thing, right? So I'll just take one step back. How do you play a bearish engulfing signal? Bearish engulfing signal is a short signal with a stop loss at the top of uh, bearish angle fixed signal ka formation. Now, uh, the 100 DMA is the top of the bearish angle fixed. Also, bearish angle fixed top itself is a resistance. Now, if these two resistance get invalidated, that is, if Nifty goes above 17, you know, somewhere around the top level, 17350 plus levels, then the horizontal resistance is broken. 100 DMA is broken. Bearish engulfing is broken. Everything is broken. This means that there is a clear cut bull play there. But till that happens and we get a convincing consolidation or a close above that level, I won't look to log nifty. I'll respect the reversal pattern bar break. I'll not call it a reversal. Maybe it's a pause. It's a break. But at least till we have clarity on this, it is not very prudent to go long here till we have a break above this. And if it's a break above, right, you're not going to miss too much. <clears throat> Let's say you're going to, you are going to buy today here, right? You'll probably do it at 17,100. If you're going to do it above, you're going to enter 1% above, right? So it's not huge, that big a FOMO either. 
So I'd say wait for 1%, 150, 200 point or move. If it breaks above, we can all join the party and Nifty might probably go up further because then Nifty is above 50 DMA, 200 DMA, 100 DMA. Everything is broken. It's a clean cut, bullish opportunity. But till that point, maybe you should wait to go further long. Okay, so that concludes our analysis for today. Uh, super short analysis, uh, kind of. Uh, uh, so we'll see you again tomorrow. As usual, this is not tips or you know multi bagger or any of those things which you see around. We are just doing this analysis so that one day nobody needs to watch this program and we can do all our analysis on our own. So, uh, Shitesh is saying draw Fibonacci from eighteen three fifty to fifteen six seventy one. We'll happily uh, do that, Hitesh, by tomorrow. Or uh, let me just uh, figure that out. Let, I'll just do, do a mental pointer. So again, uh, thanks again guys for joining. We will see you again tomorrow as usual. Please uh, take care as long as you know there is uncertainty in the market and keep your capital safe. Thanks guys. Uh, good night. Bye and take care.